Hey, what's up guys? Baker here. Another tutorial. Yeah. This time we got, uh, what should you call this? Audio synced flashing to the beat, to the audio, all that good stuff. You might have seen it, and uh, here's two examples. Uh, I'll be quiet real quick. Hold on. So you got a little flashing to the beat, and I'll tell, I'll show you why that one didn't look as good. And uh, here's the other example when I first tried this out. So you can see there's a little bit of a, you know, brightness going on to the beat. And this one worked a lot better, and I'll show you why. So let's get right into it. Uh, here's the example I'll be going over. I tried to make my own beat because of copyright reasons and things like that. So here, here's my example. Ah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, okay, here we go, right? So let's say uh, you're inside this comp, right? And uh, usually this will... You want to do this in uh, your final comp, so you'll have a whole bunch of layers with your montage and stuff. And you'll have your main song in there, so, yeah, got the, uh, push LL, got your main song and stuff. And what you want to do is, um, kind of, like, let's see. So I want the beat, or the, uh, effect to happen on the, the kick, and the bass, you know? And that's why the other example didn't work, it's because it's like a rock song, and there's like a whole bunch of... There's not a lot of like distinct notes, you know, like in a rap song like this, you're going to have a kick and a snare and you can kind of isolate the kick. And uh, to do that, you want to go to, here, let's do it this way, uh, effect, make sure your layer is selected, effect, audio, bass and treble. We'll boost the bass up a little bit and decrease the treble uh, negative 100. So if I just solo that really quick, let's just listen. So this is kind of like the muffled uh, effect, so I'm going to just duplicate it again just to get rid of the uh, the higher end. And what we're going to do now is right click, keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. And when you do this, make sure your, uh, your song is soloed, otherwise it'll sample from the audio and all your other uh, layers at that time. And uh, make sure your... Uh, timeline is set because it'll make a a uh, no object to that time frame okay so we'll push you to kind of look we got left channel right channel both channel so I'll just delete the left and right and uh, if you've seen video copilots tutorial this is kind of like it I'll just go a little bit further anyways click on the slider and uh, we can show the little graph editor here we kind of see these are the uh, the values of the amplitude of this layer and these bumps, these spikes are the uh, the bass, the kick and uh, we're going to use this to drive an adjustment layer and um, before we do that if you look, if you can kind of see these uh, values go from about 10 to 40 so if we just link up the adjustment layer straight to this 10 to 40 percent isn't going to look right so what we're going to do is map this, and uh, to do that, hold Alt and click on your stopwatch, and we're going to type in linear uh, parentheses value, comma, and then your little low, low point. So a bunch of keyframes are around 20, so I kind of want to go just above that to about 25, and then your high point, and uh, you don't want to go too high so I'm gonna pick around 40 if you can kinda of see that 40 and then that's gonna literally map to 0 comma 100 so everything that's 25 is now 0 everything that's 40 is now gonna be 100 so if we click away if you look at the slider we have 0 0 0 100 0 0 0 0 0 0 100 0 100 right and um, so that's all good and set up now what we can do is turn everything back on, make a new adjustment layer, and uh, instead of you know making like a solid and setting it to add or something, that's what I did first. But I didn't really like it because 
it adds white to everything, including like the blacks, and it made it turn gray, and I didn't like that. So what I did is turn levels, or pick levels, because I only want the brights to get even brighter, like only the brights. So let me just uh, copy my secret, secret color correct thing over here, and uh, if you guys want this, you know, let me know, because this is pretty, uh, I've been addicted to this color correction lately. So we see you got the sky bright and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is take the levels and decrease the uh, input white, so it makes it a little bit brighter. See that? Okay. So now I'm gonna link the opacity. So T, and we'll go to audio amplitude, push U, and Alt click on the opacity of the adjustment layer, and pick whip to the slider value. So it'll copy everything here. So we got zero bump up to 100, back to 0, and let's just ram preview really quick. And uh, we should get a pretty nice effect. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Oh, make sure you delete your bass and treble effects over here, otherwise your audio will sound really bad. Alright, let's listen. And there you go guys, you got uh, some effects linked up to the amplitude of the audio. And you don't have to do only bass, I mean if you do uh, the bass and treble and decrease the bass and increase the treble, then you can have it probably on the snare, and uh, I haven't really tried that yet, but um, pretty interesting tutorial don't you guys think? Make sure you leave a like because uh, this is some awesome stuff. And uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask me over Skype. I do help a lot of people with screen share and all that stuff. And um, that's about it for today. Uh, if you want, go ahead and check out these other tutorials. And I also have my second channel just for tutorials. And I'm finally getting some uh, revenue sharing back and uh, getting some ads again. So hopefully I can get partnered soon. So please check that out. Please subscribe and be an active subscriber. Bunch of new tutorials coming up. And like the video. I love you guys. Peace.